Here's what you missed this week on the Tim Black Show. Man gets 70 years in jail for spitting on cops. He's been convicted of aggravated robbery, domestic abuse. He recently hit a woman. Someone called the cops. They put him in the squad car. He spits at the police officer. He starts kicking the door. They take him to the station. He spits again. When he goes to court, the prosecutor says, Ah, I got my eye on you, Pearson. We're supposed to give him 25 years because he's a repeat offender. But let's send a message. They gave Larry Pearson 70 years in jail. I'm not saying it's okay to spit at officers, but they gave this guy an additional 45 years in jail for spitting. Even guys you don't like shouldn't get 45 additional years. Whatever you do, don't go to the Fulton County Jail in Atlanta, son. If you are poor in America and you go to jail, there's a chance you can end up like LaShawn Thompson. LaShawn Thompson was found unresponsive in a Fulton County Jail. Bed bugs and insects had eaten him alive. When they went in to resuscitate LaShawn, they had to put on a hazmat suit. The environment in which he was forced to live wasn't fit for the rats. The family, it wants answers. And it wants this hellhole closed. You and I should not believe that this is the only cell in Fulton County Jail that has this type of conditions. It's just the only one that we got a spotlight on. I am the NRA. Wow, talk about an epic fail. Now, I probably don't look like a traditional NRA member. The media would have us believe that the NRA is only made up of old white guys. But there's a lot of other people, a lot of diversity within the NRA. Well, let me tell you something. I may be a mom and a grandma, but I am the NRA. <laughs> I'm a woman. Is Anna of the Young Turks a turf? Is Anna Kasparian a turf? <laughs> There's been conversation about this because Anna Kasparian made a comment on Twitter. I'm a woman. Please don't ever refer to me as a person with a uterus, birthing person, or person who menstruates. How do people not realize how degrading this is? You can support the transgender community without doing this shit. Oh, spicy. Anna Kasparian. Has anyone ever referred to you as a birthing person? No, Tim, they haven't, but... I don't think so. But on the off chance you're ever in the clinic, and there's trans people there, they might say, uh, birthing people, come this way. Get it? And nah, and it's not a turf. She likes weed. The Blacks Review, Monique's Netflix comedy special. Monique. Comedian Monique, her special. She didn't. She stood her ground. She stood her ground like a mug. And it's like, I can't help but be proud of her for making it, you know, making it to her goal and what, you know, she was, you know, in it for. You know, she is the victor in this. I'm so, I'm really proud of her. I'm proud of her too. I'm yeah. proud that she could be as bad as she was on that comedy special nah. and still get that big ass check. No, I thought she did great. I think, and I think I mentioned this is that we she wanted to show where she came from and I, it wasn't a lot of jokes but it was a I could I, the, the story that she was telling was excellent you know up to the point where you know there were some jokes dropped you know in here and there but just giving that getting that background of um, Monique's life you know all about all things Monique is what she will draw you into, and that's what held my attention. So I'm very proud of her, and I look forward to seeing more, more from her. I really do. I'm glad she got to Netflix. I'm just ready for some more. Well, you know, I respect that point of view, of course, Mrs. Black. I respect you. <laughs> Yo, I feel like she was doing it because she didn't have no jokes. I feel like she was telling her story because she didn't have jokes. I'm sorry, that's how I felt about it. It is what I feel. It, it, I'm like, I'm like, look, Monique, you gotta put some jokes in here, yo. I think she'll get her next time. She'll get get her next time. She had to. She, she had said she wanted a Netflix Lucy. special she because she had jokes, Lucy. and then she, she came out here talking about herself. <laughs> Nobody come. Look, Dave Chappelle did this, right? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Dave Chappelle did this, but he had done like four specials all jokes. Yeah. Before he did the closer. Uh huh. You haven't had a special in ten years. And then when you come back to do it, it's no jokes. Earthquake special was the shit. 
Black Tennessee lawmakers prove a point to the GOP. If you know your enemy and you know yourself, you can fight a hundred battles and never be defeated. Take, for instance, Justin Pierce and Justin Jones, the two black legislatures out of Tennessee who were kicked out for speaking up for their constituents and making a noise. They've both been reinstated to the Tennessee legislature, and they should have never been kicked out. If the people are seeing you to do the people's work, no one should be able to take you out. You know, unless they beat you at the ballot box. It's called elections. I have to say, some of us who are a little bit too excited and other people are a little bit too down. They're freshmen. They've just got there. Let's see what their works are about. And to those people that were too upset, walk it off. How liberals, Democrats get gun control very wrong. I'm pro-gun rights. I'm for common sense gun laws. I'm not for gun grabs. I disagree. Guns are evil. Why can't you see that? They lead to homicides. Well, each individual also has a responsibility to keep their guns safe. Listen, there is no such thing as a safe gun. Looks to me like you've never been in a violent situation. Worst thing that ever happened to you is you got a wedgie from your cousin. Wrong. Statistics show you gun-happy gun homeowners shoot themselves, not the intruders. Are you one of these homeowners that you're talking about? Because it looks like you're living in your mama's house. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm trying to help you reason through this. Let me help you. Oh, that's what you call it. Trying to help me. Some people got real situations. So if you take their guns away, they'll just be living somewhere where everybody else has protection except them. Did you think before you talk? Fake progressive. <laughs> you mad. Once again, Democrats and Republicans point fingers instead of work on solutions. This time it's a mass shooting in Kentucky. There was another mass shooting in Kentucky. And Kid Rock didn't bring out the guns or nothing. What's up with that, bruh? Tim Black, Tim Black, guns. Why are you talking about guns? I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy of the right. There's mass shootings every weekend in Chicago, Baltimore, Milwaukee, and they have the strictest gun laws in the country. Oh, of course. Chicago. That's mighty white of you. You may or may not have a problem with Trans Ams on beer cans, but some do. Wait, what were we talking about again? So that's the problem, Connor. I want to talk about end mass shootings. You guys want to talk about Dylan Mulvaney. And Budweiser. Look, we aren't giving up our guns, so we're just going to have to find a middle ground here. Go Trump. Go Trump. Yeah, of course. Subscribe, follow, like, and be a part of the Tim Black Show. We stream live on Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, folks. See you there. Wolfpack.